Hello everyone. Welcome to Netset OS. Today in this video we will see how to find out longest palindromic subsequence. If you have any problem in understanding subsequence, I have made a special video on it. The video link will be in the description below. So let's start. How to find out longest palindromic subsequence? Let's say if I take the example net set. Here I need to find out with all possible subsequence. It can be either ETE which is also a palindromic. It can be ESE either ETE or ESE or in the other way if we take T it can be TST or TET. So in all the cases they are making of three length. If I take the other example let's say B A B B B the random. Now if I take out the palindromic subsequence it can be B A B which is also a palindromic or I can have B B B it is also following palindromic or we can have four B's. Palindromic means to draw a line in the middle of the string and have a look whether they are making the same string or not. For BB it's BB only that makes it palindromic and if we see it is of three length this is of three length and it is of four length. So the longest among all the subsequence which are also palindromic is BBB. Here in this video, I'll discuss three approaches to achieve longest palindromic subsequence. The first approach, the Nave solution, which will be try with each with all possible way. Let's say if I'm taking net set as my string and I need to take out longest palindromic subsequence out of it. So what I need to do, I need to find out all possible subsequence which are also palindromic. So here first I'll try out with subsequence which is first N then E then T then S then E then T. Then I need to find out the other subsequence of two length N E E T T S S E then of 3 length, then of 4 length, then of 5 length. And whichever subsequence will be palindromic, all the palindromic subsequence out of which we will select the longest one. This approach is all about subsequence. If we talk about time complexity, it will be order of 2 to the power n as we are going for each and every subsequence of each letter. Now, so as to improve this complexity, we'll be looking for a second approach. Here, first we need to have the string itself. Let's say if I'm taking the string B A B B. This is my string. I'll take the string first, then I'll do the reverse of it. Reverse as in first the last letter, then second last then third last then the second a and then b now keeping these two strings i will calculate longest common subsequence of these two strings i have already explained the concept of longest common subsequence with recursion as well as dynamic programming i'll give the link in the description below so with this if i take the recursion method i need to calculate if they are equal, it will add 1 plus and the cursor will move one step ahead. And if they are not equal, then we need to have i as it is, j will move ahead. And the other case, i will move ahead, j will be as it is. And then we need to have max of both of them. This I have also explained in that video with dynamic programming where the string are equal then it will add 1 to it otherwise it will calculate max of above and 
left. So with this approach also you can calculate first you need to have the string then you need to reverse the string with these two strings we need to calculate longest common subsequence. Now if we see the time complexity by this it will be order of n square as we are computing the solution by i and j as well as we are also comparing it. So here it will be order of n square and if we talk about space complexity by dynamic programming it will be order of n square as we are making with i and j. Now let's see the more better approach for longest palindromic subsequence. Here I have taken the example net set and if I index it I'll take i from front and j from the last. Now here I need to follow this if first character is equal to the last character because we need to match the last character let's say if I have e t e so I need to match first and last character so if e and e are matching then we will move ahead i to the second character and j to the second last character but as in this case n and t are not matching first starting from n to e and the other case from e to t that is i'll take first n e t s e avoiding the last character and in the second i'll avoid the first character e t s e t and then i need to calculate max out of this let's try to solve this by dynamic programming if i have the example b a triple b if i index it i'll have 0 1 2 3 4 as its length is 5 let's draw a 2d matrix for this as like this here we have 0 to 4 and 0 to 4 for each i and j side here also i'll write the characters for both i and j axis now we will start filling up this by dynamic programming but the first step we need to take care i should be less than and equal to j that means if i have i greater than j i need to fill zero then and there so i'll take for one as i and j is equal to zero i'll fill zero over here for all of them same with when i is equal to two and j is equal to one it will be zero then i is equal to three j is equal to two zero and here zero then the second thing we need to look for when both of them are i that means we have just single character single character as in here we have just b so if we have just the single character we will take it as palindrome so here we will take it as 1 for bb for aa 1 for bb again 1 for 1 and all diagonal will be taken as 1 as we are having just the one length character over here so i can say the length is of one character now i'll fill for two length character as we have the string b a b b now for this i need to match up for two length character for b and a if b and a are matching if they are not matching i need to go for i j minus 1 i need to go for i and j minus 1 here i'm looking for 0 1 so here as per this we will have 0 and 0 and the other one will be 1 1 so 0 0 is this one 1 1 is this one here out of this i need to go for maximum 1 1 as they are same i will write over here 1 then i'll be looking for a b whether a b is matching they are not so here i'll be looking for both these characters the maximum of it is one only as they are 
same one now for bb here we have b and here also b they are same now for same we need to look for i plus 1 and j minus 1 this is 2 3 character so for 2 3 i need to look for i plus 1 which will be 3 and j minus 1 that means 2 to this i need to add 2 plus so here 3 2 so i need to add to this 0 2 plus why i have added 2 because here we have b b there are two length bb is always making up palindromic so it will be a palindromic subsequence that's why we have two over here now we will be looking for this one here b b they are same character so same character i'll take the diagonal it's zero and will add two to it so here also we will have two so with this we have taken two length character right now we will be looking for three length character that means this and i need to match this b with this so here we have b and here also b b and b are matching so i'll be looking for the diagonal and will add two to it so one plus two will be three then we'll be iterating from A to B. The three length character. Is A matching with B? Is A matching with B? For filling this column. A is not matching B. So I'll be going for else condition. Here I have to fill 1 comma 3. So for 1 comma 3. I need to have first I as it is. And J minus 1. 3 minus 1 will be 2. And the other one i will be 1 so plus 1 j will be as it is so i need to look for 1 comma 2 which is this and 2 comma 3 will be this out of 1 and 2 whichever is maximum will be filled over here now for the other one we need to look for b and b as b and b are matching so we will look for diagonal which is 1 and will add 2 to it so here i'll get 1 plus 2 as 3 so with this we got all the three length characters now we will look for four length which is b a p is it making palindromic subsequence let's find out so for this we'll be looking for is b matching with b yes so we'll be looking for its diagonal 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 is 3. Then I'll be looking for this string starting from A to B. Is A matching with B? No. So we'll be looking for left and bottom one. Whichever is maximum will be written over here. Now we'll be looking for all five characters so is b matching with b yes so here we'll be looking for 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 is 4 which is the longest palindromic subsequence now if i need to understand how i got this palindromic subsequence let's verify here if I look for the last one from which I was confirmed, I got the number that longest palindromic length is 4. Let's find out. Here this 4 I got from this 2 as B is matching with B. So I can write I got B over here. As B was matching that means there were 2 2 with which when it was matched I got this B. Now if I look for this one here a is not matching with b that means it would have been taken from left or bottom now if i look for this two as it was taken from the bottom b is matching with b yes that means it is a palindrome so b is matching with b that means here we got b over here 
so four beads over here for making it palindromic subsequence so let's see how to build a program for it so for python program i'll go to pycharm before going to palindromic here i have longest common subsequence where i have verified for b8 triple b first of all i have taken the normal string and then i have reversed it now so as to check this whether they are making palindromic subsequence or not i'll take out the longest common subsequence for it as per our second approach now when i see over here it's giving four now we will check for longest palindromic subsequence as we have discussed where we will calculate as per this so this is longest palindromic subsequence where i have taken the 2d matrix now i'll be filling for all one length character which are in diagonal to be one as we are taking it as single character now we will proceed for second length character so for that we have put a for loop from second length character up to size this size we have taken len of string whichever we are giving over here then we have taken i and j and here especially if their length is 2 then it will fill 2 for here for filling this length of 2 character now for filling 3, 4, 5, 6 length here it will be looking for elif if they are equal then it will just go for the lower left diagonal and will add 2 to it otherwise it will be going for left or bottom whichever is maximum will be filled over here and at last we will get the last character as my returned value 0 and minus 1 to be returned as like this now let's verify for net set we have calculated it to be 3 only as I have already explained. Now let's check for the next example which is let's say B8 triple B. Now when I run here I'll get 4. The longest palindromic subsequence to be 4 Bs. So here we need not to look for all palindromic subsequence just we need to go for the longest palindromic subsequence length. So longest palindromic subsequence the third approach I'll give this python code on github link which will be mentioned in the description below also this longest common subsequence I have already made a video on this and I have all the python code in my github link so if you face any problem just have a look on the video for concept and if you want to have a look on code you can refer github link so hopefully you understood this concept as I always say give a like to my video and please please subscribe to my channel for further notifications. Thank you.